This is Marcus Giuliano from HealthyChefDude.com and I'm here today because I'm a chef on a mission to help us all eat out better or drink out better. And I'm here with my buddy Eric. Just show me your hand, Eric. Okay. <laughs> We're in the middle of a state of emergency in yes. New York. In Ellenville. In Ellenville. We've got about a foot of snow out there with another foot headed. So today we're going to, I'm going to talk to you about sweeteners. So we all go out to eat, we all get a cup of ice, a glass of iced tea, we all get a cup of coffee or tea, and all of a sudden it's time for the sweeteners to come out. What's your opinion on, on most restaurant sweeteners? What's your opinion on the sweeteners to begin with? They're all garbage. Yes. Most sweeteners out there are just total, total garbage. Not good for you, not good for the environment. Totally not good for the environment. So we have a double whammy on there. So these, these are some things that sort of fill up the, uh, the sugar bowls equal Splenda. I don't know if you should even touch those packets, bro. There might be seepage. You're absolutely, absolutely right, because these this is a chemical. They say this is from sugar, whether or not whether it's, whether the, whether the molecule. But there's if you look at some research online, go to Dr. Mercola's site, go on Google. This stuff is bad for you. Ooh. Really, really bad for you, Splenda. Don't touch the Splenda. Equal. There's a book out there called Sweet Misery that talks about the chemical sweeteners. Extremely bad for you. These make you fat because the chemicals in here are so bad for you that they screw up your system. So those are not viable choices at all, in my opinion. Now, I've noticed that the news has gone back to, or not the news, but some companies have gone back to juices that are sweetened with real sugar because they're saying real sugar is a better option than these and corn syrup, which I, I can agree to a certain extent on that, that real sugar is better, a better option. They're saying you might as well do real sugar over these. So here's, you know, here's a big brand sugar. Now the problem I have with this is, it's not organic, and really sugar's not good for you anyway. Sugar's just not, not good. Here's an organic fair trade sugar. This um, sugar is probably, I don't know if it's brown or not. Let's take a look, it's in here. But it's, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess it's probably a little bit on the amber side. No, it's not. Uh, slightly, slightly on the amber side. Slightly on the amber side. So that means it hasn't been bleached as much. But here's the one thing that really makes me mad. Sugar in the raw, total, total misleading. Sugar in the raw, that packet, that brown packet that says sugar in the raw is totally misleading. It's basically regular sugar that's gone through all the processing except the very, very last bleaching process. It's not really what we all think it is. We think it's raw, real raw sugar that's healthy for you. This is the raw sugar you're gonna get. This is something called sucanat. This is the organic sucanat. It comes from a single plantation. All the molasses is left in it. It's basically. Why don't you explain the process of sugar? So sugar cane, they take sugar cane in most cases. Sometimes beets and other things, or corn syrup comes from corn. But sugar cane, sugar, sugar, regular uh, cane sugar. They take these sugar canes. They juice them, extract them, pulverize them, and out comes juice. So then you start the process where it's gonna be spun and heated and chemically altered and you have the, the molasses spin off because they don't want the molasses to be part of their white sugar. The molasses is now put into a byproduct, which the molasses isn't bad for you. Molasses has a lot of good things in it. Blackstrap molasses really got some really good minerals in it for you. That's where all the nutrients are in the sugar cane. Best source of iron out there, blackstrap molasses. Blackstrap molasses. So they bleach and they refine and they cook and they blow and they alter the sugar so much that it's, that it's, it's pure, pure poison. In fact, if you take sugar and put it in your hands, there was a study done, and Gary Knoll was great at this because he listened to a study done at some university in New York. Just like putting sugar in your hand and holding it, your blood, your, um, your blood cells, your red blood cells know that you have an invader already. And they can sense, and your, your immune system starts reacting because they know you already have something going on. So, you know, we were talking a little bit off camera before we started, and you're totally against sugar, I know that, but we're, we're trying to get the better choices of sugar, not only for us, and I agree with you, sugar, whether it's this sugar here, or I mean, this sugar has some buffers in it because it has some molasses, it's not gonna spike your blood sugar as much. It's still a sweetener, it's still refined to a certain extent, because it is refined. But they don't refine it like they do this sugar. This sugar cane juice, they actually juice the sugar cane, the juice sits in a big vat and they turn the heat on, and it evaporates, and what's ever left over, they start pulverizing. So they don't strip out the molasses, which has all the iron and all the minerals. They don't strip out, they don't, they don't do that. It's not on a low temperature. It's still cooked and it's not raw. This is more raw than sugar in the raw. And this is not raw. So this is probably the best sugar I can say you can find because this actual company- The non-wet sugar. 
non non wet sugar because we have honey and we have agave and we're going to talk a little bit about that. But as far as dry sweeteners, the neat thing about this company is they take their sugar cane, what's left over, the fiber, and make energy out of it and give it or sell it off to the village. So there's no pollution really happening in this process. Other sugars, you know, there's a lot of pollution that happens on the corn, on, on the sugarcane fields, as well as in the refineries. All the spillage off and everything is bad, bad news. Sugar is really such a detrimental industry for agriculture and for our environment and for our bodies. I've always, I always like to say, the healthier food is for us, the healthier it is for the environment. There's a direct correlation between that. So this is obviously a bit healthier because it's not as bad for the environment because they're actually using everything as, as a byproduct, and, you know, and using the waste. Now, here's going to be one of my favorites, stevia. This is a zero glycemic sweetener. Does not spike your blood sugar. You can carry these around the package. You take these to the restaurant with you, people. You don't rely upon the restaurant to have these because they're in most cases. Have you ever seen these out at a restaurant? Here. Here. That's the only place. <laughs> so you take these with you out. They used to sell them in liquid form. This is so much easier. Go to a health food store. You buy a packet of 150 of these, 11 bucks. You put these in your pocket, in your pocketbook. You keep them. You take these. You rely upon yourself. They're actually refining stevia now, though, too. That was my next thing. Be careful. There's some big brands out there, like Truvia, some other brands, that they're actually refining the stevia and putting fillers in. Real because stevia should be green or at least have a green tint. Otherwise, they've messed with it. Now, you can grow stevia, and I grow stevia right. in the backyard here. I have two or three stevia plants that go six feet tall every year, and you can eat them, and they're too sweet to eat. That's how sweet they are. Splenda, this is not 100% Splenda in here, the sucralose. There's a buffer in here of mostly corn syrup. So, because Splenda is so, so sweet, the same thing happens. It's buffered with corn syrup solids. So this is really not what it says it is. This particular brand is buffered with inulin, which is a very good fiber for you. Because again, stevia is so sweet that it can't be used in its whole form. But some of the other brands out there are buffering it with other junk and other chemicals right. or other other things you shouldn't be consuming. So like when you see like Pepsi and Coke and launch yourself with Truvia, it's really not the 100% stevia. You know, you can buy stevia in an herb shop that cut and sifted and dried and it's super green in powder. Right. You right. know, it's super green. That's the best one to use. This one is refined a little bit, but this is the closest we can find that comes in a packet. Far better than anything else on the table. Far, far better. And in certain studies, they've actually linked stevia to help it actually helping your blood sugar to actually help stabilizing it not it's spiking it's labeled a dietary supplement not a sweetener not, okay so there we go i didn't realize that there we go um and on, it could, now this company goes as far as saying inulin soluble fiber and stevia leaf extract so they're actually telling you what, what what's actually in there now here's some other actually one of my favorite sweeteners is agave nectar uh, now most restaurants, well actually more and more restaurants are having agave nectar now because bars are using agave nectar now. Agave is what they make tequila out of. It's the same exact thing. So I've seen a lot of in the bar magazines and bars that, that that's a new thing that mixologists use and bartenders are using this agave syrup. agave syrup instead of regular syrup. How about brown rice syrup? Brown rice syrup, you know brown rice syrup is lower on the glycemic scale. Brown rice syrup is not quite as sweet as honey or as stevia. Um, I like to use it. It does Desserts. change the flavor a little bit, where agave is pretty taste neutral, brown rice syrup is a little less taste ne neutral, i found. Well, it, ha it has a pronounced flavor, but it's not right. as sweet. Now, we use it in the kitchen because we, we cook with uh, brown rice syrup. But, you know, as far as like, taking brown rice syrup and like sticking it in a cup of tea or coffee, I'm not sure. I know you probably couldn't find any restaurant to do that. Right, because it does have a taste to it. It has a taste to it. And it's sort of like this has, this has a taste, you know, the molasses is still in there, that has a taste to it. Now here's something honey. We all know honey. Here's the misconception of honey. People think, oh, honey is good for you. Honey is good for you when it's in its raw form. But again, most restaurants, most commercial places are buying honey that is refined, refined and heated, and it's basically pure sugar at that point. This honey here comes from a small estate. It's the it's nice and creamy. It hasn't been heated. It actually has all the propolis in here, which is the antibiotics the bees use in the hive. Everything's mixed in there. This is a nice, really creamy white. I love this honey. My kids love this honey. There's over 80, um, 80 trace minerals in that honey. You have this honey at home? Oh, that's the yeah. only one I use. It's the only one you use. You can see all the speckles in there. The kids love this honey, right guys? Good honey. So, uh, in fact, they were probably in this honey. Somebody was in this honey. 
So, if you go to a restaurant and ask for honey, especially if you get a honey packet, I would avoid that as well. I'd put that in the whole, you know, lineup with all this with all this stuff. Really, to, to do the best thing, get raw honey or take with you. See. So I was just going to say. Marcus, uh, you're at 1012. 1012. We got to go. Can't stress enough, though, to put something in your pocketbook or pocket because when you go out and you're going to have to use sugar, make your own decision. Don't make let it. the restaurant make it for you. Exactly. You are what you eat, you are what you drink. Uh, enjoy your coffee the right way. HealthyChefDude.com. See you later.